ಬಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ ದ್ವಂದ್ವಂ ಭಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ಬಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ನಂದ ನಂದನ ವಂದಿ ರಾಧಿಕ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ವಶ ಕೃಪಾ ಸಿಂಧು ವಿವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮ ಕಂಕರೋತಿ ಬಾಚಾಲಂಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ ಕಿಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಮಾಧವ ವೃಂದಾವೈತೋಷಿಪ್ಯ ವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿಪದೆ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರುಂಚನೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸಂ ತೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರನು ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೋಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ವಿರಂಚನುತ ಶರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪುನದುಪಾಲ್ ಭವಾಧಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೇ ಚರುಣಾರಭಿಂದ ಯತ್ ಪಾದ ಪಲ್ಲವನ ಕಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತಕಮಿ ಗೋಧೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಕಿಫಾಂ ಕರುಷಿ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಆದೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಆದೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕ ಬದಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈ ಕವಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರು ದಿಜವರು ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾಂಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿ ದಿವ್ಯಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾನುಪೆ ನ ಸದಾ ನರ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟ ಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷೀತ ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯಮನಂಗು ಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವರಾನುಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶನಾಥ ಭಾಗೀಶಜುಷು ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಯಶ್ಚಕ್ಷಸಿ ಯಸ್ತೆ ದಂಭೀ ತ್ವಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ 
हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे प्रेमान जनोच्छुरित भक्ति विलोचन न शत सदैव हृदय सुविलोकयती यम श्याम सुंदरम चिंतगुण स्वरूप गोविंदमारी पुषम तम भजामे प्रेमान जनोच्छुरित भक्ति विलोचन न शत सदैव हृदय सुविलोकयती यम श्याम सुंदरम चिंतगुण स्वरूप गोविंदमादिपुरुषम तमहम भजामि गौरी गोष्ठीपति गौरी गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती को स्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमहंस जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट अप टिल दैट पॉइंट अप टिल दैट पॉइंट ऑन टू आवर ओन अप टू आवर ओन एलिजिबिलिटी एंड ओन समर्थ एंड शक्ति on power own individual power we are actually just depending on that up till that point inside us that kind of false ego definitely will gonna stay in that up till that point that kind of material experience bank we are actually just believing on that that kind of uh, false ego we are actually depending on that that individual power this which are is there inside us up till that point to get sharnagat onto the lotus feet of bhagwan it is not at all possible kodiya goshtipati shishila bhakti siddhant saraswati goswami thakur prabhupad paramhans jagat guru told that up till the point we will be believing on our individual power and having this false ego that on the our material intellectual educational power our material man power and our material experience bank which we have that kind of uh, eligibility and capacity we have on the up till that point we will be having that belief that we are believing on to our own individual power about regarding this up till that point to the get sharnagati on to bhagwat charan it is not at all possible to just get uh, sharnagat onto lotus feet of bhagwat tatva it is not at all possible up till that point and any uh, any time any any how it will not be possible to get sharnagat like that that is called arohavad that is actually called arohavad that we will understand that we will understand that we will see that we will understand that this kind of vichar what is there that is called arohavad arohavad means that proper speaking that just like ravan he is actually want to make that kind of efforts to make the heaven heavenly steps uh, ravan actually has made lot of efforts to make the staircase for the to go to heaven in this uh, in this earth on this earth he wants to make that effort that kind of efforts what he is putting to make the heavenly steps that same kind of efforts it, it's already written in bhagavad gita mahapuran it is strictly prohibited to do all kinds of efforts like this that type of that type of, uh, of foolish and garbage efforts uphill work that is the most puzzling task it's already written in bhagavad gita mahapuran that uphill work less like that ravan that kind of efforts he want to just make to make that heavenly stairs staircase that kind of efforts it is strictly prohibited in bhagavad gita mahapuran proper speaking that how this how, what kind of vichar is this it's like like a big uh, it's a big lantern or light you are taking the support of that and uh, yeah, at the night time you are actually just want to see the sun in the night time it's not at all possible it is just one kind of an effort that you are taking a very big lantern or a big light source artificial light source and at the night time 
यू वॉन्ट टू सी विद द हेल्प ऑफ अ बिग लैंट्रन और अ बिग मेगावाट पावर सोर्स यू आर टेकिंग दैट एंड फोर्सफुली यू वॉन्ट टू सी द सन गॉड एट द नाइट टाइम दिस काइंड ऑफ एफर्ट इज जस्ट सिमिलर टू दैट इट इज जस्ट वन काइंड ऑफ फुलिशनेस दस वन काइंड ऑफ फुलिशनेस इट इज in the uh, at the time of sunrise at the time of sunrise only you will be able to see sun god when sun god actually just going to rise up at that time the by the shine by the sunshine of sun god only you can see sun god by the actual rays of the sunshine while actually sun is actually uh, going to rise up at that time only the sh- rays of the sun only you will be able to see sun when sun is actually going to rise up the light of the sun that the actual rays of the sun by that only you can see sun only and you can each and everything of this material world you can see with the help of the rays of sun prabhupada actually speaking prabhupada actually speaking that shreyas kami just by having this kind of conception of shreyas kami that if we want to take the topmost mangal that absolute mangal in our life then we just need to understand we just need to understand we have to get sharnagar onto lotus feet of bhagavat tattva we just need to get sharnagar onto that bhagavat tattva just by having that shreyas kami bhav if we are having and prayas kami praya means that on your own individual efforts if you are putting and that kind of uh, individual desires that kind of individual desires in order to fulfill that that is prayas kami prayas kami just by having this conception that we will be getting onto the pathway of arohavadi definitely will be going onto that pathway and shreyas kami by having that kinds of conception of shreyas kami just by getting full sharnagat onto lotus feet of bhagwan because bhagwan is such sub prakash vastu is self effulgent and bhagwan just by taking the support of bhagwan just by taking the krip of bhagwan we can have get the darshan of bhagwan that is a totally separate thing Uh, all together this is actually totally separate thing all together so this kind of efforts for gyan yog karma towards these kind of effort this is nothing this is just uh, this is actually just one kind of uh, prachesta for arohavad and is all actually rubbish totally garbage it is and if we are uh, that kind of abhigyata that our material experience bank of 30 years of 20 years this kind of material experience or maybe we are having 50 years or maybe 80 years we are having experience this all we it is not at all uh, we don't have any confidence on that on our own material experience bank we cannot uh, just stay like that that kind of abhigyata which we are having if it is incomplete that all those bonded jeevas inside them that kind brahma pramad vipra lipsa and karna part of all these four kind of faults are naturally four kind of defects are there in them that brahma brahm kam brahm conception is there that all wrong ideas everything is brahm pramad just by understanding one thing and understanding it in another way vipra lipsa means that just need to rob others and you also you need to cheat uh, themselves and others as well that is vipralipsa he wants that others also should get cheated in the same way i am also getting cheated himself but he is also getting cheated cheated himself also karna part of that's the fourth one karna part of means this all these all four kind of defects natural defects are there in this bonded jeevas all the time you can find that in the bonded jeevas that kind of sense organs material sense organs definitely will be there in the bonded jeevas that kind of uh, that apotata apotu means that uh, that uh, the the kind of faults which are having in our material sense organs that defects are there in the material sense organs that is karna part of that definitely will be there in the bonded jeevas
that's why whatever that thousands of years of experience if you are having of this material world still maybe hundred hundred or thousand of years of experience you are having of this material world still on that you cannot have that kind of confidence at all it is not at all good to have confidence to have confidence on that those things it is not at all possible it is not at all good at all that's why those who are actually actual buddhiman those who are actually intelligent that's why who those who are actually intelligent all the time they are actually uh, having this confidence on shrotapantha yesterday yesterday i actually started this about this uh, uh, golok nirupan that chapter of uh, introductory to golok just by discussing that we are actually thing seeing the actual thing that uh, the, all those mayavadi people or gyani people and those who are actually atmaramata gyan that kind of brahma knowledge what they are having they are not at all having uh, they are all the time unstable and they and the different kind of sachidananda chin matra brahma uh, the kind of uh, um, uh, realization it can give but apart ab- apart from that above that tatva that vakun tatva they cannot have this kind of eligibility to see that tatva they don't have this is atad and this is atad they are actually separating that and they just need to separate and throw it away this kind of tad and asad kind of conception which i have already told you yesterday regarding this this atad and tad vastu this kind of uh, uh, desires what they are actually producing and at the last they are actually separating bhagwan also from that they are actually thinking that uh, the, the bhagwan has taken mayavadi maya devi maya mayavad uh, body and is taking body made of five elements and they are they are speaking as like that so just by separating the atad vasu they are separating bhagwan also from there so what to do in that case you see so this chinmay the kunth tatva in order to see that that it is already in their gyani karmi everyone it is not at all there at all in them why because why because just those who are actually discussing gyan those who are actually discussing gyan they what is their actual vichar they they are actually depending upon that fine vichar they are not they are actually depending on that fine form fine vichar and they are actually just going with that and what do you mean by that fine form which uh, darshan what do you mean by that fine form darshan they are actually depending on the uh, fine form darshan they are actually just uh, depending on that fine form darshan then they are actually explaining that tatva darshan in bhagavad gita mahapurana also this kind of vichar in one shloka we can see that very nicely what is that yatha yatha atma parimijyate asho matpurna gatha savano vidhane tatha 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 pashyati vastu siksham भगवान एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग चैट श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु और श्री कृष्ण इज ऑल द सेम दिस विचार इज ऑफ महाप्रभु ऑल्सो दैट चेतु दर्पण माधुरम दिस विचार महाप्रभु स्पीकिंग ऑलरेडी स्पोकन नो इन शिक्षाष्टकम means that that by bhagwan sankirtan bhagwat sankirtan by the actual hari naam sankirtan of bhagwan by doing actual naam sankirtan of bhagwan that we can increase the actual power of our darshan that very so top most fine form of darshan we can get mayavadis they are actually not at all uh, realizing this point mayavadis they are actually just believing on themselves that this is tad and this is atad this is atad vastu this is tad vastu just by separating this by having the separation concept believing on that they are actually separating bhagwan also in the same manner so 
that by the actual efforts of their own gyan individual gyan by their actually believing on that individual brahm knowledge that kind of uh, individual yog practices or maybe you can see the actual uh, pathway of the karm kand they are actually uh, following they are actually are unable to uh, having darshan of gokul so that's why in the beginning only i have already told it means that prem that prem anjana churita it's written that by prem only that kind of that is actually transformed that kind of darshan uh, is actually transformed just by prem not by challenging power only by transformation by darshan because bhagwan is actually getting uh, uh, captured by prema only bhagwan is all the time captured by prema only prabal prem ke paale par kar prabhu ko niyam badalte dekha डेफिनेटली इट इज राइट प्रेम के द्वारा जस्ट बाई प्रेम दैट वॉट इज द एक्चुअल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ अवर हार्ट दैट काइंड ऑफ ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ आईज इट मीन्स दैट अवर दर्शन विल ऑल्सो गेट रेक्टिफाइड इट विल ऑल्सो गेट ट्रांसफॉर्म एंड चेंज एंड जस्ट बाई प्रेम दैट गो लोक धाम इट मीन्स आवर बैकुंठ धाम एटसेट्रा वॉट एवर द लीला परिकर वॉट वी कैन सी एवरीथिंग वी कैन सी बाई दैट transformation by prema only that achintak shakti sampanna inconceivable that is inconceivable that achintak shakti sampanna that the kripa of krishna that the kripa of krishna that is in order to get the actual anusandhan on to the full confidence on that kripa all those mayavadis gyani karmi they are not at all having believe on that they are not at all believing that not at all having confidence on that at all so this kind of uh, uh, efforts are all actually useless what they are using that karma angana roop yoga chestha it is not at all actually like uh, actual kripa so so in any way it is not at all possible to understand that by kunt tatva like that that's why that kavalya name to vishe that kind of vishe in order to just penetrate that after that we will we can go up to that chid vilas step it is uh, no possible to go up till that point only but not above that only those who are actually pure devotees who are actually taking the actual uh, pathway of pure bhakti those who are actually taking the pathway of pure bhakti those for those people for those individual bonded jiva that achintya shakti sampanna bhagwan is actually doing full kripa that they can get the full kripa of krishna they are actually capable of taking the full kripa of krishna and and by krishna kripa only that kind of maik dharma <coughs> that kind of uh, relationship of this material world is all removed automatically that bhagwan already have told mama maya duratya mami bujo prapadante maya me tam tarantite krishna kripa ke dwara by krishna kripa only that kind of all relationship of this material world is actually getting removed and vanquished and only that at that time that kind of gokul darshan you can have that kind of topmost luck to get the actual golok darshan bhakti siddhi is it is of two types one is swarup siddhi and one is vastu siddhi bhagwan that i am nityadas of bhagwan and that kind of prem you realize that that is called swarup siddhi vastu siddhi after just leaving this body you can understand vastu siddhi at the time of swarup siddhi just uh, you can have the darshan of uh, gokul in golok and at the time of uh, vastu siddhi you can have the darshan of uh, golok in gokul also that is actually vastu siddhi that i am the actual nitya das of bhagwan 
this kind of realization when you are getting that relationship get you are at getting established in that firmly and after realizing and firmly establishing that that what is your actual duty just to understand that that by prema that just to get prema that is actually swarup siddhi just to get prema in life that is actually swarup siddhi on to the lotus feet of bhagwan that is swarup siddhi in this material world bhagwat prem in order to get that up till bhagwat prem just to get the prem of bhagwan up till that point only we can go above that it is not at all possible to go after that when you are living body only then only it is possible to understand slowly steadily you can get to that process after prema what will happen what kind of transformations of bhava will come that automatically slowly steadily you can understand that that uh, that urdh gati in bhajan slowly gradual promotional procedure of bhajan you can get rag anurag bhav maha anubhav etc all will come slowly steadily step by step it will come is that golok vrindavan which we actually called gokul or golok is all the same and this this is actually vibhu vastu humne bola i have already told that in this material world that bhagwat prem up till that point only we can go up after that there is sneh maan pranay rag anurag bhav mahabhav etc this is very very uh, very very far distant thing after leaving this body up just by having this body uh, that you can go up till the point of prema that's it स्नेह महान प्रणय राग अनुराग भाव महाभाव लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स आर देयर आफ्टर लिविंग दिस बॉडी यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड दिस रियलाइजेशन इफ यू कैन गो अप टिल दैट पॉइंट एंड नाउ दिस विभु वस्तु व्हाट इट इज देयर दैट गो लोक धाम दैट नवद्वीप धाम वृंदावन धाम दैस दैट गो लोक धाम व्हाट वी आर सींग दिस दिस इज एक्चुअली विभु वस्तु जस्ट बाय सींग ओनली एक्सटर्नली it looks that navadvip dham externally it looks like navadvip dham externally just by externally looking navadvip dham is actually 16 crores and vrindavan dham is 84 crores now actually you will become so much surprised and amazed 16 crores this navadvip dham is there this is actually vibhu vastu you cannot measure that by materially by the inchi tape or something this is actually 16 crores materially you are thinking but this is actually vibhu vastu you can't measure that that 84 crores vrindavan dham but this is actually vibhu vastu in all shila kavi karampur also has just described in his book briefly about this description regarding that in the gambira temple that in the gambira temple is very small in uh, size it's not a very big temple it's very small in size externally you can see gambira mandir ek chota sa mandir gambira temple is a very small temple and kavi karanpur ji actually has written that this gambira temple inside that how lakhs and lakhs of people actually are coming and going away accommodation accommodation how it is possible for lakhs of people to come in that small place how it is possible that is lakhs and lakhs of people are actually coming and going very small space how these people are getting accommodated in that how it is possible kavi karanpur writing chela kavi karanpur the actual siddhant regarding this is that that this navadvip dham vrindavan dham it means our our golok dham is are actually all vibhu vastu transcendentally it looks like it is actually within this area of material conception material boundary it is just in within that material boundary uh, but even this actually there is some uh, boundary of uh, braj dham we can see that there is certain boundary of braj dham in this material world but this is actually achintya vichar about this 
we have already told regarding this that yashoda maya has just in order to just bind gopal she actually has just tried to bind gopal with the ropes but she cannot bind gopal at all whatever kind of uh, 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 pathway which are open that the kind of dam bandhan leela she has actually done she, that dam means that kind of rope with that rope actually he is uh, he is actually binding krishna that's why it's called damodar that in order to just bind uh, bhagwan yashoda maya has just lot of efforts in order to bind bhagwan with ropes but all her individual efforts were all gone in vain nothing has happened nothing has happened why because he is actually vibhu vastu you can't bind vibhu vastu It has those that have it it don't have any starting and end. Where actually it is starting and where it is getting ended. It looks like Gopal is actually very small, but it doesn't have any any kind of uh, starting and end. It is actually achintya vichar. After that. we can see the third number shloka we will be discussing that we have already started the actual discussion of third shloka but still i found that this kind of golok nirupan tatva we just need to understand more in depth analysis should be there regarding this and now what we are actually describing now this actually from third number and fourth number and fifth number shloka up till 2 to 2nd to 5th shlok that gorog nirupan it means that what is the actual swarup of golok how golok looks like and this aprakrit jagat how it looks like up till now it is actually going on golok nirupan karnikaram mahajantyam shatokunam vajrukilakam sharangu shatapadistanam prakritta purushena cha premanand mahanand ृपेन प्रकृत्वाषेणिंदो What does it mean actually? No, here actually it is written. Karnikaram mahajantam satho kunam bajro kilakam sharanga shatavadi sthanam prakitva purushena cha. This topmost chin my transcendental lotus flower. What I have told you that naam name is actually vibhu vastu transcendental in nature that dham. about dham in order to just uh, understand that it is very much difficult this is swayam prakashit through self manifested object this is uh, just by giving the external example to you in order to understand this uh, aprakrit transcendental vibhutatva it is not at all possible to get the understanding of that transcendental vastu transcendental object just by giving the example of one material ex- uh, external material objects externally what kind of which are this is actually impossible to get the actual which are of the transcendental body that there is contraction and expansion this example i have already given you very long day before you must have remember that this go about golok dham that kavi karanpur has told that is very small kambira mandir it is there and i am actually very surprised this to see that in that small gambira temple in that lakhs and lakhs of people are actually coming in and going out but nothing is happening how it is possible 
बिकॉज दिस इज एक्चुअली विभु वस्तु इट इज पॉसिबल इन विभु वस्तु ओनली इट इज ट्रांसडेंटल ऑन दैट ट्रांसडेंटल प्लेटफॉर्म इट इज एक्चुअली रिसाइडिंग देर इज समाइम्स एक्सपेंशन देर इज समाइम्स कॉन्ट्रेक्शन लाइक यू कैन सी द लोटस फ्लावर यू कैन सी द लोटस फ्लावर इट कैन जस्ट गेट ट्रांसफॉर्म्ड इन टू अ टॉप मोस्ट लोटस फ्लावर एंड वेन द सन गॉड इज गोइंग अवे दैन अगेन इट इज जस्ट गेटिंग इन टू अ शिवर्ड स्टेट so this actually transcendental lotus flower it is just like that the dham that transcendental lotus flower this our dham which we see in between that is the actual seed in between the his in between spot the middle spot krishna is actually is actually the actual staying place of krishna in the middle portion of the lotus flower you can see here this is the actual staying place inside middle of the lotus flower that is actual staying place of krishna here that prakriti and purush both are actually residing transcendentally that adi prakriti and adi purush they are actually all the time uh, residing eternally there par swabhav karmani no prashansad no garhet popad bolte the na popad always used to speak this point this shloka no swabhav karmani no prashansad no garhet विश्व में एकाक पर मानव प्रकृति पुरुष वृक्ष भी भजन जालिका व्हाट एक्चुअली इट इज रिटन बज पर स्वभाव कर्माणि न प्रशंसत नगर हे विश्व में एकाक पगम विश्व में एकाक पगम पुरुष प्रकृति पुरुष है न छ ये जड़ जगत इट्स मटेरियल वर्ल्ड this is made of uh, actual combination of purush and prakriti in this whole material world we can see that purush means chinmay atma i have discussed it already all that uh, very lot of time if it's, there is no chinmay atma then this prakriti is actually just inert object prakriti ka anga that inside prakriti that kind of chinmay atma after it is getting manifested in that inert vastu only then this kind of prakritik yamanani that shloka is uh, uh, eligible is possible to understand after that you can understand this point iska udharan mahaprabhu i can give you one example what mahaprabhu has given regarding this just like one piece of steel it is actually it is very uh, pure but this kind of steel it, when you are actually putting in fire bahut samay tak rakh after long long time when you are putting in fire then it will become red hot it means that like the color of the uh, fire you can see the property of fire you can find similarly you can see the same property that it can burn up anything that same thing that same characteristics of fire you can just get in that steel uh, uh, that piece of steel also you can see that all the time uh, it is automatically get transferred into the steel piece that what kind of actual eligibility the fire is having everything you can find inside the uh, piece of uh, steel that steel piece uh, maybe you can find that this kind of material prakriti that material world which we are finding this material world inside that that chin my atma is there in that in our object and that kind of actual manifestation of atma is so much topmost that inside prakriti when it is getting inside that prakriti and after that if we can find that prakriti inside prakriti there is some kind of power is there but prakriti is just inert and it is uh, lifeless no 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 life is there in it that a prakriti jagat in that a prakriti jagat that there is one transcendental lotus flower and inside the mid- middle portion that innermost or middle middle most portion of that uh, lotus flower there you can find the actual staying place where krishna is residing ex- eternally all the time inside that it means that prakriti and purush both of them are actually residing transcendently there that uh, with adi prakriti and adi purush they are actually transcendently residing there maybe this kind of prakriti what we are what i am actually thinking that this is not at all inert at all 
this is not at all inert this prakriti and purusha not at all inert that whatever we are finding that prakriti finding in this uh, material world that nature is actually material nature it is actually inert it is actually already spoken in brahma samhita this material world that it is not like uh, our material uh, prakriti it is a transcendental adi prakriti and purush it is all the same but it is transcendently eternally present but still in the form of two they are actually expressing the leela in front of us maybe the you can that golo in golok dham that prakriti and purush definitely there is no difference because in this material world the purush means that jivatma purush means that purushakar purush means that purushakar that pure dehe vasati iti purushah and that's why in the our material body that atma that chinmay atma which is residing inside our heart atma is there definitely because of that only our body is actually moving and that kind of uh, uh, saturajogun rajatamogun all this kind of is there that false ego mahatatva all we can find in our body that kind of prakriti and purush it means here actually it means that prakriti and purush what does it mean here that prakriti is actually material nature with that purush means that there are two purush inside our body in our body there are two purush one is one purush is jivatma and the other purush is paramatma we are actually having false ego that i am the doer i and my concept is coming and the other purush is paramatma that paramatma when it is not at there then everything is useless nothing can be done that's why prakriti and purush by the actual combination of prakriti and purush this material world we can find but in the aprakrit jagat what that kind of aprakrit purush there is only one that is krishna that in this aprakrit jagat that kind of purush what we are finding that is only krishna only and here also that prakriti what we can see that shakti achintya shakti it is not different from krishna but still it actually is different from krishna like the case radha govind actually just getting unification and becoming gorang and in the same way this gorang one gorang he is actually manifesting himself in one form as a unification of radha govind he has just manifested himself in this way he has just manifested this way about that in chaitanya charitamrita is already written in chaitanya charitamrita is already written about that radha krishna pranaya vikriti radha krishna pranaya vikriti ladini shakti rasmad ekatmano upi ubi pura dehovedam gato to chaitanya aksham prakata madhuna tad dvayam ंग this is the actual will of bhagwan so this actually i have i have told this shloka to you that the transcendental lotus flower in the middle portion innermost portion that actually krishna is actually staying there that is the actual staying place of krishna and prakriti and purush all the eternally that hexagonal it is hexagonal in shape there is one uh, just like a uh, hexagonal uh, yantra yantra is not at all instrument what i'm speaking here yantra means it's just like uh, one hexagonal design is there like that you can see lot of yantra are there instruments are there yantra mantra lot of lot of things are there regarding this instrumentation and mantra and this is one kind of hexagonal yantra and there is krishna that is just like uh, having a shape of a diamond and it's just like as bright as diamond and that is chinmay shakti mantatva krishna it means 
that chinmay chinmay definitely it is transcendental and it's full of power it means that krishna together with his energy and his potency is manifesting with his antaranga shakti here and that tilak swarup avasthit that that ashtadat akshar what like our in our gaudiya samaj that ashtada akshar mantra we are getting in the gaudiya samaj there are two kind of mantra there is the ashtakshar mantra and ashtada shakshar mantra we are actually getting ashtada shakshar mantra in gaudiya math and some plus somewhere in our gaudiya sampraday other ways in not gaudiya math out of gaudiya math it is all the same ast ashtakshar and dakshakshar maybe some differences there in that that ashta dakshakshar mahamantra this is a hexagonal in the six parts division are there of this mantra that six parts it is actually manifested shathopadisthanam vyaktam sharango shathopadisthanam isi gokul namak that this kind of go, gokul named nitya dham in that that inside that nitya dharm that in that karnikar that kind of hexagonal krishna that hexagonal shaped that krishna is actually residing in that that his kanjal that that whatever the outer covering the petals outer petals of that flower just like a sunflower that inside the inside sunflower that kind of one uh, uh, outer skin papadi just by uh, grinding that papadi that sunflower on that sunflower that that we are getting sunflower oil after grinding that papadi that kesar inside papadi of the sunflower oil when we are grinding it we are getting sunflower oil out of that prem bhakto sajatiyo gop gop mane gop digal abash bhumi atat elo ya it means that they are actually all the time manifesting here all the time they are manifesting here and and they are prachira bali that prachira bali aur ye kamal ka and this lotus flower each and every petal of this lotus flower like you have already seen that in navadvip dham that kind of picture of navadvip dham you have seen that you haven't seen that the picture of navadvip dham you just see very carefully that inside there is one gokul gokul means that mayapur gorang mahaprabhu is that actual avirbhav sthali of bhagwan each and every petal respective petal bhakti mon thakur actually having this kind of vichar and other 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 time vichar is also there regarding the actual petals of navadvip dham this each and every petals of that lotus flower that kind of patra of lotus flower there is actually shrimati radha rani is that upavan that upavan dham vishesh is there like our navadip dham we can see inside that seed inside that gokul which were actually navadip dham that mayapur we are which we are speaking and from all the four portion all around the direction different different kind of uh, uh, there is antardvip there is we are actually speaking mayapur antardvip and after that the second by simanta dvip is in madhur mudadrum dvip kotrum dvip rudra dvip kola dvip all these dvips are actually just getting surrounded by all these dvipas uh, that lotus flower all these madhya dvip each and every uh, dvip is just like a petal it is just like uh, the same structure of the lotus flower what i'm describing so the thing actually here is that that bhagwan shri krishna leela that prakat and aprakat leela two types of leela bhagwan shri krishna are there maybe bhagwan shri krishna's leela is actually nitya all the time it is happening that uh, maybe the bhagwan shri krishna's leela is a nitya or is nitya all the time actually it is presently eternally present mahaprabhu has shown this to us that each and every leela of uh, the actual leela of kuchadanya mahaprabhu is all nitya uh, maybe today mahaprabhu in some other dham and on some other brahmand or some earth he has got birth avirbhav and some utsav is going on there that gor avirbhav tithi is going on there at that place mahaprabhu is actually somewhere actually is doing the leela of sanyas 
that is also nitya that in infinity brahman that kind of lila is definitely going on if you can understand this point very carefully like from avirbhav and series of lila i will give you one example regarding this then you can find it very easy that you have seen the cartoon picture that a picture of a cartoon that there is actually cinema of one uh, picture of some kids you can see that in cartoon picture that uh, that figure what we can see that cartoon picture that personality we are finding like two picture or one picture we can find in that each and every action what we are seeing there you know we just need to draw one picture and just by uh, one series of picture when you will be doing then it looks like that picture is going on but it is not picture it is just one we are actually just draw that picture in one manner that his hand is just down and is just uh, uh, putting up his hand up and is just uh, is just running and is just each and every action we are actually putting one picture and we are just by series of camera we are putting in that and we can find that is just one kind of series of uh, story we can find uh, that 50 ta story we can find like the case in the childhood that aranya dev superman spider man all these kind of series we can see it is just all uh, uh, mentally concocted but still kids are finding it really well but bhagwan shri krishna about this it is not like that the thing what i want to speak that the from the avirbhav of stali of of krishna each and every leela what particular leela for fraction of second leela each and every leela actually is there in that infinity brahmand maybe in this brahmand or other brahmand it is actually all the time going on that's why mahaprabhu actually speaking this point that mahaprabhu actually speaking that nitya leela is nitya transcendental it is eternally present leela how it is uh, eternally present mahaprabhu speaking alat chakrabat asman mein alat that in the in the in the sky there is alat chakra it is going on and just uh, suddenly will uh, go in the opposite direction so leela prakat and aprakat this kind of distinction why this distinction is there so it is for us only why because bhagwan leela is eternally present all the time in golok dham but still in which brahmand we are actually in this brahmand this earth is there particularly bhagwan shri krishna's leela in earth that 5000 years before bhagwan actually just getting tiro uh, bhav that disappeared that is called that is why it is disappeared disappearance leela for me and this leela is all the time uh, nitya in the nitya dham is all the time present there eternally and in this nitya golok dham it is present eternally there all the time and uh, in this infinity brahmand where at that place particular place where bhagwan shri krishna gorang mahaprabhu actually getting avirbhav there they are actually doing prakat vihar and again they can get disappeared from that place the normal persons the normal persons it is actually out of the range out of the out of the range of their darshan material darshan material persons just that kind of material darshan they are having that is vrindavan leela they that is why it is called prakat leela and what is actually out of the range of our eyes where our eyes which is only can see blood and stool and urine which we he, these eyes cannot see at all that is called invisible that we cannot see that it is out of the range of our eyes that is called a prakrit uh, leela leela is definitely nitya but uh, it is out of the range of our eyes now so that is a prakat leela that golok that kind of uh, aprakat leela is all the time present in golok in golok dham that what is actually aprakat leela for us in go, in nitya golok dham that is actually present all the time and in gokul that aprakat leela that it is there in go gokul and this aprakat leela is also if the wish of will of krishna is there then definitely it can just uh, get in front of me you understand the point maybe in gokul also externally 
there is one vichar that bhagwan krishna's leela you cannot see that at all but if krishna's kripa if you are getting the kripa of krishna automatically suddenly then this kind of uh, gokul that a prakrit leela definitely is there in gokul that uh, disappearance leela of krishna you, uh, it is there that uh, by this uh, uh, five elemental eyes we cannot see it it can it can be possible by our eyes we can see that by the kripa of bhagwan that that transcendental was to that this thing i am actually uh, uh, listening it from a lot of time before the same uh, tatva vastu ko bhu prakito gochan no hai na sunte aa rahe you have already heard this point no but this is actually such a uh, amazing point and very surprising point to understand that when mahaprabhu actually just getting that uh, prakrit vihar that chapal gopal also see that uh, gorang mahaprabhu oh prabhu you are going to protect me from this condition each and every dog cat and all each and every person can mahaprabhu actually going to navadweep in the market everything they are seeing with this materialize how what it is this is actually the that achintya shakti by effect of achintya shakti bhagwan is having the jeevas don't have this kind of cap- capacity to see bhagwan at all that bhagwan when is doing the actual appearance leela here in this material world don't understand like this that bhagwan actually doing this appearance leela in navadweep or in vrindavan or vedan ayodhya they are doing appearance leela it doesn't mean that by our own eyes we can have we have seen bhagwan it is not at all possible for us we have i have seen bhagwan by my own eyes what you have seen you haven't seen anything at all <laughs> so this isme uh, they uh, in we don't have any hamara koi we don't have any kind of bravery is there in this concept that this is the actual kripa of bhagwan that he is actually manifesting himself in front of all maybe bhagwan is actually a prakrit but still this is uh, that infinity achintya shakti Uh, there is one uh, special shakti is there that is self manifesting shakti power so so prakashita shakti self manifesting power of bhagwan one book i have actually edited that bhagwat what bhagwat tatpar bhagwat sakshatkar i have already edited this in this book and about the san- vichar of sandarbh everything very nicely it is written there about sandarbh vichar it means that chapal gopal chapal gopal how he can have this kind of eligibility what kind of courage and bravery he is having that he can have the actual eternal darshan of a prakrit darshan of gorang mahabrahmo it is the actual uh, kripa or the mercy of swasvap prakash itself manifesting power of uh, potency of bhagwan that he can see gorang mahabrahmo when mahabrahmo actually just getting manifested in this material world just by his self manifesting potency he is actually taking a place in this material world that's why those bonded jeevas they don't have any kind of eligibility for infinity time to see the darshan of bhagwan but still they can have that darshan this is actually practical darshan or not this kind of vichar is there but even dogs and cats are also having this kind of darshan for mahaprabhu those who are actually smoking drinking they can also see bhagwan with this material eyes nityanand prabhu you can see the case of jagai madhai nitanand and gorang mahaprabhu they are actually seeing those who are actually drinking wine also how it is possible the we have already seen that the actual vichar of bhagavat is like this that in shrimad bhagavat ji mahapuran naraj ji mahapuran that the previous janma the previous birth that siddhant vichar have already told you you have can understand that point that naraj ji in the uh, when they have actually get associated with all the uh, sadhus and when her mother just got uh, Uh, away and uh, the uh, the boy is actually is without support and just by going uh, uh, slowly steadily in the jungle there is uh, every each and every ocean river everything he has crossed he has just came in front of one pond and he is actually not at all eating and not drinking anything without that he is actually just uh, taking bath in that pond and is taking some water out of that pond and after that he just sit uh, in just uh, down the tree of one one tree he is just getting and he is just he started thinking there that how i get associated with all those pure devotees and pure guru vaishnav what kind of nice topmost vichar i have heard regarding the hari katha of bhagwan 
and uh, so and what to speak that immediately one flash of light just like a flash of light bhagwan just uh, gave darshan inside his heart just like a flash of light just for fraction of second bhagwan just came and given darshan to him and he just immediately just uh, got disappeared from there you understand the point now that time i have already spoken that the was child just started crying a lot continuously and speaking that krishna you give me darshan and for this fraction of second you are just giving me darshan and going away this kind of cheating why propensity why you are actually just putting me in cheating process and then the actually from the sky some voice came and speaking that you don't have this kind of uh, time to have that darshan of me completely maybe t- today or tomorrow you will get that why you are actually giving me darshan for like that for fraction of second bhagwan speaking when inside our heart that anarth is there at that time that there is no maturity of bhajan at all that there is no maturity of darshan that bhagwat darshan at that time is not at all possible this vichar is there this is the actual which are no but how chappal kapal so actually is number 1 uh, fraudster robber and each and every person of the shop and market he can see gorang mahaprabhu externally so this is actually very special point that chaitanya mahaprabhu that bhagwan shri krishna when he is actually into this uh, prakat vihar leela that said by his self manifesting potency that he is actually self manifesting potency he is actually doing the kripa of self manifesting himself bhagwan himself in front of even bonded soul lekin but this darshan this is not at all actual darshan the you haven't understood my point maybe that mahaprabhu has just by self manifesting potency chappal gopal on even wine taking wine also they can see him but still my question is that this actually is darshan is it is it actual darshan this is actual practical darshan no not at all no it is not at all actual practical darshan this is actually not not at all tatvik darshan this we can't speak that this is tatvik darshan it's not at all tatvik why because when we are getting guru kripa when we can get blessed by serving kripa serving gurudev slowly steadily by the actual kripa of gurudev that when we will be having that tatvik darshan only then this kind of navadip dham we can see navadip only that we can see this navadip dham maybe to like that we will be finding it with the tatvik darshan only that is called actual darshan you see i'll give you one example you will be finding it really well when mahaprabhu is actually going to the market and just by taking some grains or some vegetables from there and poured mocha mocha poured means you understand that there is flower of banana and inside one part of banana we are actually speaking thod the other external people don't know anything about this that in bengal actually it is happening that thod mocha and that flower of banana up till that we can do some uh, prasadam we can take everything mahaprabhu used to take from the market kola from kola vacha shridhar that his name is shridhar and he always used to every time he used to give are you give me to me are no i will not give it at this price no 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 oh no definitely i will take no no no, no. it is too much expensive no definitely i will take at this price no you go away and you take it from other place i no 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 if you want to take it at this price only i will give that and then mahaprabhu started fighting with kola vacha shridhar on that banana leaf and all the time we used to have some kind of enjoyment with kola vacha shridhar maybe kola vacha shridhar is not a normal ordinary person it is he is not a normal ordinary person but still but still mahaprabhu that by the actual effect of yoga maya this leela is actually just like that up till that point then that kola vacha shridhar cannot understand that he is actually gauranga he is your actual ist dev that 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 those who are actually you are actually taking all the money in order to just worship the lotus feet of ganga devi that is that same gorang that same bhagwan is there up till that point he don't know when mahaprabhu actually started speaking in a very enjoying mood that you are actually worshiping ganga devi you are not at all giving me ha huh? so how you can just uh, impress ganga devi how you can just uh, get the satisfaction of ganga devi 
देन श्रीधर खोला बेचा श्रीधर एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग इन एंग्री मूड स्पीकिंग अरे दैट ही शी इज गंगा जी यू डोंट हैव एनी काइंड ऑफ फेयरफुल मूड है ही इज गंगा जी एंड यू डोंट हैव एनी काइंड ऑफ यू आर एक्चुअली अ सन ऑफ ब्राह्मण दैट यू आर एक्चुअली सन ऑफ ब्राह्मण एंड यू आर एक्चुअली डोंट हैव एनी कॉन्फिडेंस ऑफ गंगा जी दैट यू आर एक्चुअली जस्ट हैविंग वन काइंड ऑफ जोकिंग मूड विद गंगा जी महाप्रभु स्पीकिंग दैट यू आर एक्चुअली गिविंग टू गंगा जी है यू नो गंगा हु इज गंगा फ्रॉम वेयर ही हैज शी हैज कम शी हैज जस्ट केम फ्रॉम मी ओनली जस्ट काइंड ऑफ वन जोकिंग शी इज डूइंग यू आर एक्चुअली ऑफ सन ऑफ ब्राह्मण एंड यू आर जोकिंग लाइक दिस एंड महाप्रभु एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग इट राइटली महाप्रभु स्पीकिंग इट राइटली बट बाय द एक्चुअल इफेक्ट ऑफ योग माया दैट अप टिल दैट पॉइंट खोला बोचा श्रीधर he can't understand the actual thing that he is actually gorang by the lotus feet of that infinity ganga that are actually coming you understand the point what i'm speaking so then khola bacha shridhar that darshan of khola bacha shridhar how he has that darshan that he is from my own village and he is very nice looking he is very educated and he is actually is one uh, son of a brahman this darshan is there but when mahaprabhu has done kripa and just uh, told him the actual darshan that you see what kind of worshiping you are doing the worship of that ganga she is actually coming from my lotus feet that is actually tatvik darshan that is called tatvik darshan so darshan is of lot of types so if he actually the kripa of bhagwan and the will of bhagwan mish of bhagwan then bhagwan can just kind of express the actual leela of prakat leela of golok dham in front of us which is disappeared now in front of us that's why it is written in chaitanya bhagavat kabhi kabhi sometimes by the actual kripa or luck of pure guru vaishnav they can and get the darshan of bhagwan dham and leela automatically by the kripa of bhagwan bangla mein kehta hai in bengali it is written astak bhi up till now that leela same leela in bhagwan in the bhagwan dham it is going on but it is actually out of our range adapiyo sahi leela kore go rai kono kono bhagwan bane dekhi bare pa that i have already told you this point that from two weeks before i have told the one week before i have told you this point that in shriva sangan at shrinathpur there are two people two boys at ragunath das baba ji maharaj at shriva sangan they have given two bhandara two boys they have given under that same prakat leela has just got manifested and all actually become so much surprised by seeing that oh what is happening there that shri vas malini is there as uh, sachi mat every everything they are seeing there it means that the leela is nitya a prakrit and leela kore go rai kono kono bhagya bane dekhi bare pai amara jeev ko same avar jeev ko swami pad in krishna sandarbh same thing he has spoken that prashuti hi prakat prakat leela yam abhivyakti hi it means that the aprakat leela that abhivyakti that is called actually prakat leela it means that leela is nitya nitya is definitely nitya leela is there is no actually stoppage of leela leela is all the time going on transcendently it is no stoppage continuous now about this i will be just discussing a bit maybe it is actually strictly prohibited to speak about this but still if i will not be speaking then it is not at all good very slight uh, uh, brief descri- description i'll be giving that in the chapter golok nirupan in that adhyay golok nirupan this mahajantra that when we are actually just describing the kaam gai gaitri the will be describing kaam gaitri then i'll be discussing about this that this karne karam shatakonam श्रिया श्रिया अब ये काम बीच क्या है 
वॉट इज दिस काम बेजन वॉट इज महाजंत्र वॉट इज शटक वॉट इज वज्र कीलक वॉट इज वॉट इज दैट एंड वॉट इज प्रकृति पुरुष है न प्रेम वॉट इज प्रेम आनंद एंड वॉट इज महानंद वॉट इज दिस वॉट डू मीन बाय दैट वी कॉन्ट अंडरस्टैंड दिस थिंग ज्योति रूपे न This all these things, what is actually written there? You this all actually slowly, steadily. I'll be just be discussing it, and in detail, I'll be discussing it later by the grace of Bhagwan. Karni Karna means that that on that same lotus flower, that that same lotus flower. It means that Golok Dham. That we are actually speaking that lotus flower. It is actually compared with that lotus flower. It is not like lotus flower. It is already like that only. Not compared like that. It is same like that. That on that same lotus flower, that Karnikar, that Gokul, that middle portion, inner portion of Golok, the core part of that, uh, the inner core part, inner core part of that Golok. Mahajantram means that. That Mahajantra Vishesh, that Yantra, it's not an instrument or machine. It is just one kind of drawing. One structured uh, thing is there. That in the Nath Tantra Mantra also, maybe one drawing is coming regarding this. That Mahalakshmi Yantra, Mahasaraswati Yantra, Kam Yantra. Lot of drawings are there regarding this. So this uh, this Mah Mahad Yantra means Mahayantra. Means that apart from that there is no yantra mantra. Shatakon means it is hexagonal in shape. Vajra kilak means that Vajra uh, kilak means Vajra kilak mean kilak means that kilak ujjwal that kind of uh, effulgence. Why why it is called Vajra kilak? Because this kind of diamond, the diamond, this diamond, the diamond. The density of diamond is so much high that by that diamond, that that we can see that the glass is actually getting cut, cutted. We can cut the glass by the help of diamond. It means that just like diamond, it is just like as bright as diamond and as powerful as that Krishna Tattva, that Vajra Kilak. Inside that Krishna is actually all the time present. Inside, in the inner portion, and that charang, that this already spoken here, this already told here, in that, that ast dakshakshak, ast das, ast dakshakshakatmak, that eighteen syllable, one mantra is there, very powerful mantra it is. So much powerful that eighteen syllable mantra, very dangerous and very topmost powerful. That is my topmost powerful mantra, very very powerful it is. Understand that apur topmost powerful this. In that that ashta daksha shri eighteen syllable mantra. That it in syllable mantra, it is already there inside that. It is actually divided into six parts. It is actually divided into six parts. And when it is divided into six parts, that kind of it is actually uh, getting manifested in six parts. I am actually just speaking, Bhankar. This dangerous, dangerous means in just in enjoying mood. I am speaking so much surprising and amazed to see this thing. That so much topmost uh, uh, mantra. That's his power. That the power of that mantra is infinity. There's infinity power. That mantra. By that, what can't be done with that? It means that that in inside this mool prakriti Shri Mati Radharani and that Adi Purush Bhag Parat Parakulation Bhagwan Shri Krishna is all the time eternally present in that. Maybe. That Premananda Mahananda Rasena Avastita. It means that at that place, at that place where, and at that same Gokul, inside inside that same Gokul Dham, that Premanand Swarup, that Mahanand Ras 
Adhisthan is already there. You under, he didn't understand what I am speaking. That whole Golok Dham, that whole Golok Dham, or maybe Gokul Dham, it is, it is just one kind of infinity, infinity amazingness, that absolute rasa, that in absolute ras, uh, that kind of flow is going on. That's why, maybe, that Premananda, that kind of Premananda and Mahananda, by that, that kind of Prabhav of Rasa, Absolute Rasa, flow of Absolute Rasa is going on continuously all the time. There, that, that Rasa is actually taking a personified form. That kind of Rasa we can find, like that sweet ball Rasa is there. That mango, mango Rasa is there. That mango Rasa is there. Uh, sir, some juice is there, no, but there that rust is there, that impersonified form, it is present there. That, that definitely his swarup is also there. Maybe that uh, Premananda Mahananda, that in that same Gokul, in that same Gokul Dham, that Premananda Swarup and Mahananda Swarup, that rust is already manifested. Why? Because there is in the infinity Brahman where actually different different rush is there. Infinity Brahman, a lot of rush is there. Each and every rasa, there that kind of originally that manifestation is Krishna only. That's why in the Upanishad it is told. Rasa is definitely Krishna only. That Krishna is the Krishna is the actual swarup of all the rasa. That's why, maybe. That Premananda Mahananda. It means that this Golok, that Gokul Dham, that Premananda Swarup, Mahananda Swarup, it is actual Swarup of that Mahananda Swarup. It, what does it mean? That Jyoti, Jyoti. In Bengali, this pronunciation actually is making it wrong. One is Yoti. Yoti means Sanyasi. And this is actually Jyoti. J. Jyoti means... This is actually totally different from what this word I have spoken before. This word here, this Jyoti Rupena. It, it means that, that Jyoti Rup that Prakash manifestation that Jyoti means that effulgence of light just like light that infinity effulgence of that infinity world that infinity effulgence of that infinity world that is it is actually came from there only that's why it is Jyoti Rupin I'll give you one material example regarding this I'll give you one material example regarding this one child has just taken birth. Why he has taken birth? How he has taken birth? There is actually some reason. My boy has just gone grown up and he's just taken, uh, gone married. And again, one uh, just uh, doing some building and everything he's getting in his life. And he's giving birth to another boy, another child. So this originally, if we are actually having this kind of vichar, you could, don't understand me wrongly. You don't understand me wrongly that all kind of infinity world what is the actual original uh, cause of that? What is what is original cause? That Aprakrit Jagat, that is a Prakrit Kam and Prakrit uh, uh, world has that Prakrit Kam. This, don't understand it wrongly. This uh, In this material world, if, if Kam is not at all there, then how we can get the actual uh, development of this uh, total creation? That creation will totally get stopped. That's why Originally that Kama, what we can find in this material world, that original Kama, it is there in Aprakrit Golok Vrindavan and that is called Aprakrit Kama and it's just perverted reflection we can find in this material world, that Prakrit Kama. That's why that by that pra Kam is actually the actual development of the creation, that infinity creation also which we can find, that is also Kama, that Bhagavan by his <coughs> Aprakrit Kama, what we actually, I am actually speaking, this is just one shadow or perverted reflection we can find in this material creation. At Prakrit Kam we can find. It means that this Jati Swarup, this Kam Beej and Kam Gayatri, 
दैट काइंड ऑफ थिंग ऑन टू दैट लोटस फ्री जस्ट लाइक द केसर स्वरूप दैट कृष्णांश स्वरूप दैट प्रेम भक्त दैट ऑल दो गोप कंस गोप मीन्स दैट ऑल द फ्रेंड्स those who are actually just the cowherd friends of bhagwan shri krishna they are all that actually getting manifested there eternally this patra means the petals the each and every petals what are flower is having particular this is actually all those priyasi guns of shrimati radha rani these are actually just getting manifested there in that dham and there is actually very in depth uh, description analysis should be there otherwise you will not understand the actual thing but it is actually strictly prohibited to do that how i can do that openly because those who haven't got this uh, mantra particular mantra this he has got from gurudev that who is your actual guru that that same mantra you are actually getting from gurudev i am not at all guru how i can speak about this mantra but still in order to just uh, explain it slowly is very small description i have to give otherwise the total description will become uh, incomplete so that shri krishna akhil leela of golok that kind of uh, when it is aprakat in golok that kind of akhil topmost leela of krishna that eternal eternal akhil leela of krishna in this gokul just by getting disappeared also still it is actually uh, all the time nitya present in uh, golok dham so we can safely say that golok golok kya hai what is golok gokul ka and that is actual vibha of gokul gokul ka vibha hai gokul the actual vibha of gokul is golok gokul gokul that tathatma vibha of gokul and his glorification is actually just written here and before because of that gokul is that gokul the actual the go golok is actually vaibhav of gokul i have already just told it before also but uh, while discussing it i can't discuss it in very detail that is my actual uh, that is because i am i am time bound i don't have this much time so i have told that the sadhak that those who are doing bhajan on the time the means that those who are topmost vaishnav those who are paramans vaishnav they are not at all punished uh, devotees those who are actually topmost paramans vaishnav for them inside their heart there are two kinds of two, two kinds of bhajan procedure we can find one is that mantra upasana mai and one is sarasi वन इज मंत्र उपासना मई एंड द अदर वन इज सारसी लाइक द केस वन प्योर गुरु वैष्णव परम हंस वैष्णव स्लोली स्टडली बाई डूइंग भजन ही हैज जस्ट गॉन अप टू दैट सिचुएशन दैट कंडीशन दैट ऑल द टाइम इन द मॉर्निंग टाइम ही इज एक्चुअली टेकिंग द दर्शन ऑफ निशांत लीला ऑफ भगवान एवरी मॉर्निंग ही इज टेकिंग दर्शन यू हैवन अंडरस्टूड वट आई एम स्पीकिंग दैट ही इज एक्चुअली टेकिंग दर्शन ऑफ निशांत लीला ऑल द टाइम in the early morning and sometimes that some uh, pure guru vaishnav he is actually in yog peet inside yog peet kalpadramad simad ratnaga singa sanasthu shishi radha sri gobind dibhu pishtali vishapamanu te isi seva ka so by this seva he is actually mantra mai upasana he is doing that of the same seva same leela that is a fixed leela he is actually concentrating on in the yog peet inside yog peet that leela which is going on eternally he is actually just uh, focusing on that uh, slowly steadily just by reciting the mantra he is actually getting into that leela manifesting into that leela and sarasiki means that uh, bhagwan leela the flow of leela of bhagwan is actually going on a flow of leela of bhagwan actually is going on in sarasiki what bhagwan has done in the morning that there is some kunj bhang leela is going on and bhagwan shri krishna has just uh, came back to his house running towards the house and uh, shrimati radharani deyamai that uh, gurudev is actually just went to the house and all the sakhi manjaris also have went to their respective house and bhagwan shri krishna again again he has just came to his house and just uh, doing that shayan leela some kapat leela of shayan the sleeping leela he is doing and yashoda mai actually thinking that gopal still actually sleeping okay let him sleep he is actually just a child only let him sleep 
and uh, he is not at all eating rightly he is uh, don't have this much power in his body also okay let him sleep and in that time in the meantime yog mai actually poran masi devi coming and speaking are oh lala still you are actually govind you are sleeping huh? what is the reason poran masi devi actually coming and speaking in the morning time she is coming and speaking hey gokul hey gokul chandra you just get up what you are doing is this the time of sleeping you just have to get up just get up so like this actually she is actually gopal actually just we woke up and just by um and he is that all his eyes he is actually rubbing his two eyes and speaking that bhagwati pranam on to your lotus feet and just like this gopal speaking to parmasi devi so this flow of leela actually is going on that is sarasiki and after that what happened that bhagwan he is just doing the bathing leela and go dohan leela and after taking bath he is taking bhojan leela and with radha rani in the partial of radha rani that kind of kitchen leela is going on after that that go charan leela each and one flow of leela actually going on continuous flow of leela is going on that is called sarasik you haven't understood what i'm speaking sometimes some pure guru vishnu paramhans vishnu they actually can take the darshan of flow of leela that sarasik they are doing this it is the bhajan procedure of two types so it is also possible like that now that mantra dhan mai leela that is the fixed leela that in mantra upasana that in mantra upasana mai and different different kind of leelas that from each and level govind going from here to there and different different places he is going there and and doing different kind of leelas he is actually manifesting all around his vrindavan he is actually manifesting govind that sarasiki is there why why and by what this leela is happening for what purpose that leela is happening and why in the that mentally slowly steadily by doing those who are doing bhajan and just by participating in that leela that is called sarasiki and this uh, that ashta dakshakshar mai that mantragat leela is there that uh, is the just by speaking this mantra it's not at all good but still there is one seed and after that that govindayo then gopijan vallabhai that sarayo that this whole mantra is there before that there is one seed is there of the mantra that krishnaya govindayo gopijan that separately i'm speaking first is krishnaya then govindayo then gopijan vallabhai then that gopijan vallabhai that swaha swaha this is actually six kind of that kind of six mantra that there is one seed also that kind of very in depth vichar is there very nice vichar that what is the actual meaning of the beach of that seed and yantra ki lok swarup that uh, the inner portion inside that that is called seed and lot of uh, meanings are there regarding this and this mantra what it is there this mantra sometimes we are actually all those pure guru vishnu paramans vishnu of this the mantra that there is one picture of mantra so they are actually taking one picture of this mantra in front of them and they are just by concentrating on that mantra slowly steadily that all the time they are actually concentrating and just getting uh, mad in that conscious uh, um, uh, madness of that mantra sometimes this mantra that actual picture of that mantra and that chinmay tattva what is there just by slowly studying uh, remembering that it looks like that crores of moons are millions of moons are getting uh, manifested and uh, what is the actual in depth vichar of this that bhagwan is swayam kamdev himself that she is a prakrit kamdev bhagwan is a prakrit kamdev shri krishna and lot of uh, in bhare hari bhakti vilas sometime some things are actually defined there because uh, openly we cannot uh, define all this uh, in an open sabha so that's why i'm just touching it so this uh, what your ashta dakshakshar mantra 18 syllable mantra this ashta dakshakshar mantra by that भगवान श्री कृष्ण दैट ही हु इज एक्चुअली अपराकृत कामदेव 
that Aprakrit Kamdev, that inside the body, that has 24 and a half, 24 and a half uh, moons are there. This, this moon actually I will be just be doing it next week. I want to explain this, what do you mean by 24 and a half uh, moon? What is that already there in the body of a Prakrishari of Krishna? I will definitely going to explain that point next week. And there is one Kamdev. That Aprakrit Kamdev Bhagwan is there. And that this mantra, that 24 and a half syllable, how it is possible of that mantra? 24 syllable is okay, or maybe 25 is okay. But how it is possible that it is 24 and a half? That word can be 24 and a half, it's not impossible. Shila Vishwana Chakravati Pad, whose name is Harivallab. Shila Vishwana Chakravati Pad, whose name is Harivallab. He actually, the, un, under the guidance of Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami, that kind of Aprakrit Kamdev, the body actually it's already described by Shri Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami. He cannot understand that completely. He cannot understand that. And he's saying that how it is possible 24 and a half syllables. How it can be possible 24 and a half. He cannot understand that completely. And he thinks that if that Aprakrit Kamdev, that Aprakrit Kamdev, that uh, Ashtadakshakshar Mantra, that Aprakrit Kamdev, is, it is the presentation of Aprakrit Kamdev only. If I haven't understood the actual meaning of the mantra, Vishuna Chakravati Pad, or by whose name is Harivallab, he is actually thinking that if uh, the actual um, meaning of the word he cannot understand, he thought that if I cannot understand the actual meaning of the mantra, then I can't do bhajan at all. I don't know the actual meaning of the mantra, so what is my bhajan actually? It means that it's good that I should leave my body and uh, that he's not at all taking prasadam and water, everything he has left, Hariballav, and at the corner of Radha Kund, he's just uh, uh, crying and just uh, speaking that I will leave my body because he's thinking that if bhajan is not portable, then what to uh, do by keeping this body? And at last, Radha Rani came in dream and speaking, Oh Radha Hariballav, you just get up. Just take prasadam and water. Your in, inside your heart, that kind of dissatisfaction is there. That uh, kind of um, doubt and uh, suspicion, doubt and suspicion is coming inside your mind. That I will actually clear it out. That that Shri Krishnadas Kaviraj is there, no? That Krishnadas Kaviraj, she is my Priyanam Rasaki. She is actually Kasturi Manjri herself. That Krishnas Kaviraj Goswami, she is actually, she is my actual friend, Priyanam Rasakhi. Kasturi Manjari. She is Kasturi Manjari. She is actually Kasturi Manjari. She cannot be writing it wrong at all. She is actually writing it correctly only. That 24 and a half word means that Varnabhit Kamal, one book is there, very, very old book it is. In that, there there is a one half syllable it's written like in our sanskrit visarga when a, there is one chand like gayatri is there a chand a chand different different chands are there in sanskrit you know chand that different different chand are there in uh, for each and every gayatri a tripati sang chand and different different chands are there different different chands are there no so in that chand all the time this chand that uh, we just need to match up that we have to tally that chand with the other if you cannot tally that chand then you that kind of discovery what you have done it will to totally uh, waste so that kind of tally for that uh, for each and every word in order to how to use that at what time that word you just need to use that that is very much very very important it is very very important in that if that some visarg is coming like uh, 
that gayatri is there what is what is what's that name i can't i forgot that gayatri anchand is there and the other kind of word it is having inside that the different different kind of chand vyakhya explanation of chand is there so anushtup like anushtup chand is there uh, anushtup chand is there and different different chands are there in each and every chand there is actually some kind of uh, thinking maybe when you are actually writing some poem in that poem said in sanskrit you are writing in that you just need to make one vichar that first which chand you want to write that particular poem that there are some chand there are having eight syllables each and every line there can be eight syllables you will be there more than eight it will not at all possible that poem will be successful in some time in chand there will be 11 syllable 12 syllable 16 syllables like that so just need to write the poem according to that you understand what i'm speaking that anushtup chandra lot of chand are there so this inside this chand slowly steadily by writing that in in between that if some visarga or that khandatta that some uh, breakage comes then it is not at all counted in that it is not at all counted in that visarga anusharva anushar visarga khand it will not be get counted in that at all but still if you are actually that uh, here actually it will be just counted in the syllable because radharani actually speaking that this is not at all uh, wrong this is definitely correct you take water and you take prasadam you don't worry at all this is definitely right what she, she is writing she is my priya namra sakhi krishnadas kavira she cannot speak wrong at all so this mantra the actual meaning of that mantra in order to understand that that top most deep vichar you just need to make in that what it is that krishna swarup that krishna chin my brajalila the actual vilas swarup of the chin my lila of uh, krishna and tat paraphernalia uh, and of the gopikas and under the gopikas guidance the atmanivedan for krishna that krishna whatever his life everything has given onto the lotus feet of gopikas on to the lotus feet of radharani krishna has given everything that kind of anugatya bhav of gopikas that atmanidan swarup what is that and we ha- if we cannot find the actual meaning of that up till that point it will not be stay inside our heart up till that time that prakrit kam will just like mad he will be just uh, driving us away here and there bhagwan shri krishna that a prakrit kam what is there the arvid gopikas when that kind of swarup we cannot understand in toto then just like uh, dogs and cats this prakrit uh, maya dev kaam ka prakrit kaam dev just be uh, kicking us like uh, that he'll be just taking it away maya dev will just be kicking us like that up till that point we will not be getting under the guidance of that aprakrit kaam dev and the actual relationship of gopikas if we will not understand then there is no solution at all in gaudiya bhajan this so secret this is so secret in gaudiya bhajan that normal person they cannot uh, are not at all eligible to enter into it that the normal person in, inside them that kind of uh, gate it is not all all the time closed in front of them it is not at all possible to open that gate so what i have told you that krishna swarup and the krishna braj lila that vilas swarup that tat parikar gopijan bala that actual swarup of gopikas and tad bala means that ko krishna gopikas under the guidance of atmanivedan swarup and if that atmanivedan is not at all there then krishna how he can speak like that why actually speaking like that that's why it is written no he is was his gopijan vallabh atmanivedan if it is not at all there for krishna then how how it is possible to speak like that it is spoken like that because atmanivedan is there you don't need to do anything for that you just need to 
uh, for your own by own glorifying your own self it is you are actually if our uh, if our uh, age is less like demigods then i cannot pay you up till that one i i don't have anything to give it to you at all what i can give it to you nothing i have to give it to you so the krishna swarup that krishna my brajdila the vilas swarup that tat parikar gopijan vallabha gopija gopika swarup and tad vallabha that what under the guidance of anugatya bhav of gopika is what is the atmanivedan swarup of krishna and otherwise you will think that it is just material kaam like a normal person is getting kaam inside his body no that kaam that male and female this kind of kaam they are having that you will understand it is not like that at all this kaam is not at all like that and that uh, topmost pure jeevas their chit swarup what is that that chit prakriti that chit prakriti what it is you understand what i am speaking that same swarup it is actually gyan uday in all the things that all the things in regarding to that that uh, that which are if it will be there inside your heart that some one the relationship that uh, topmost gyan will just get manifested then a topmost thing will uh, enter in your life and your bhajan just like train it will go but this relationship is very much difficult to get but still it is actually straight enough you just need to leave maya so just getting that swarup gyan uday that is called relationship sambandh a prakrit sambandh with bhagwan and this atma samyak that atma sanyog that kind of sambandh gyan with that you can discover your own duty as well one you can understand realize your relationship with krishna then automatically you can discover your duty one child very 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 small child innocent child he is actually just reading one book he don't need to just read book and just uh, his child is definitely having a normal uh, uh, natural relationship with that boy that mother is having how to give her milk after getting that mother relationship what kind of relation it's automatic it is automatic is there that i will be just discussing it next week on that i will be discussing it with you and today i will be just uh, giving rest up till this point you just forgive me i have to just uh, other kind of seva i will not dis- and up till this point i will be just giving for, uh, rest preman jano churita bhakti bilochane na shanta sadaiva hidaye subilokayanti yang sham sundaram chinta guna sarupam gobindamadi purusham tamaham bhajami वाचकल्पतरुष्य पति तानंग पावन भविष्णभ्यो नमो नमः